everybody, this is not a spring chick. Happy New Year! Okay, so yesterday we were recovering from, oh, wait a minute. The first day of the year is, oh, you're hungover from New Year's celebrations, football day, and fabulous shopping day. I just found out that it was, what, the National Hangover Day yesterday. Okay, so we're getting ready to start the whole new year. There's a lot of things that are coming up. Oh, wait a minute, Congress was in session, but... Oh, wait a minute, some people voted and then left town. Oh, just wait till we tell you about the fiscal clip. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comment on the headlines of today. It's all over for the Republicans. Well, actually it is for 80 of them that basically said up you to the people that voted for them because they felt, please said, it was important to the Republican Party that they be liked by the Democrats. Oh, gosh, what were they thinking? So they, uh, and here's the funny thing, is that the, the aid package for the people hit by Hurricane Sandy wasn't even brought up because the people that voted to give Obama his victory fled the Capitol. Oh, what? Yeah, is is so, that why Washington pushes the United States to the edge of the fiscal cliff? Well, they, they, are, they okay, here the problem is, Flea Obama will tell you that we're still going over it, folks, because they didn't, they did okay. In, 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 uh, what is it, at, the, at the end of this week, the government has spent all the money it's got, which means they got to go start working on the new resolution to spend money. And so then, what they do, fund themselves till they come back to session to vote? Uh, no, the, the, a lot of them are coming back to vote, and the Democrats are not, okay, the Democrats are now officially in the majority at the Capitol. They did not leave, but they're not going to vote for a single thing until Boehner comes back out of hiding. And uh, so there's nothing being done, and they're blaming the Republicans. Okay, the Republicans voted to, to uh, they, they voted to, because here it is. Oh, Flea says there's people that will never vote for a Republican. They basically decided to satisfy. So what's going to happen is they're terrified of the people that put them in office. They fled, and because they fled, the Democrats now have the majority in the House of Representatives to do business if they so chose to do it, because they can declare Baynard absent and then Nancy Pelosi therefore as the head of the uh, majority leader will simply take over and start running things again because Republicans now have um, I think uh, 40 mm -hmm. less members than do that represent than, this, than the Democrats in the House because they, uh, one of the people said I don't foresee these people coming back to Washington in the next two years mm -hmm. well actually there most of them have started a lot of them they started uh, removal proceedings this afternoon on them. Ooh, you mean those ones that, well, I could say their tell is between their yeah, legs. But why in the world did they even do that? It's like, it's, it's just crazy. As, as one of the people said, that, one of the people on the left said, I'm interested to see what these people all got from the president. And he said, the thing is that uh, they will eventually, it will come out because this man will throw you under the wheels of his bus as soon as he feels Well, it. it's like we've been watching them do that time after time. I know. So I mean, what makes them think they're any different? I mean, they won the battle, folks. I mean, they, hear this. They, they had a secondary means of winning the battle. Well, the president raised your taxes and we cut your taxes. Instead of saying we cut your taxes, they won't even talk to anybody. They, they so just, there's something they, they else swear. going on. I swear they're awfully guilty. I mean, well, they're no, acting just, awfully guilty. It's just, it's just it, when you totally forget, um, basically, uh, I, I love it. Uh, this morning, one of the people basically said that the new mantra of the Republican Party that counts is, we're full of BS. Mm -hmm. And you want to know where the best cow manure is being shoveled? Well, we're, we're basically spitting it out at you because we no longer are the party that stands for fiscal responsibility. We're all Democrats now. Mm -hmm. Tragic number, Chicago reaches 500 homicides. Yeah, and uh, okay, the, in Chicago they've got gun control and guess what, okay, you know what, my, I, my family have known a lot of people in Chicago since the Roaring Twenties and basically my father, when he was in the military, taught a lot of those people that used Tommy guns during the Roaring Twenties how to use Tommy guns. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, so Chicago has been the myrtle capital of the United States since the gangs took over back in the 1920s. And fans to introduce Beyonce at the Super Bowl halftime. Oh, that's ridiculous. 
they got to come on and, and they got to pick people. That's one of the promotions. Some fans are going to be named. They're going to come out. And, and ladies and gentlemen, here is little girly ba oh, that, that she doesn't have fans come on. Tell her she just comes out and freezes in motion with her little cape over her and, and then waits for about 20 minutes and then they whip the cape off. Oh, well, that was Michael Jackson, wasn't it? So oh, and snowberries. Parts of the Northeast and flights are canceled. You know what Lee Obama says? What? It's called this a normal winter. Isn't that normally happen? Does anybody remember the Mayflower and it was freezing and all of that stuff because of the bad weather? That is the worst weather. In a, how about like 20 foot of snow in Buffalo, New Mexico, Buffalo, uh, New York during the winter? So. And U.S. mentally ill and their families face barriers to care. Well, yeah, because the Democrats don't want to. They don't want to be involved in it. They say, well, the Republicans are responsible. Let's see. And every state, they're the most dumping of people out on the streets. Democratic administrations are in charge. Isn't that coincidental? Mm -hmm. And body of India rape victim cremated in New Delhi. Oh yeah, and they basically, they, the Indian government was so upset that they just got another one reported on them. And uh, well, we're going to have to do something. And then after they said we're going to have to do something, another one got reported because remember, the, India is a contradiction. India is Muslim and it is Hindu. Hindus really get somewhat pissed off about their daughters being attacked, and Muslims, though, don't think anything of it. Remains of a Connecticut gunman claimed for burial. I know, this is uh, actually, I, I was watching a thing on CBS, uh, NCIS last night, and they had the same sort of thing. Guy, one of them saying, well, you know, he'd been dead for a month and no one has claimed it. He said that, uh, let's see, what is it? Dave McCown said, you'll find that generally, <laughs> Those that participate in massacres have very few people willing to claim their remains for burial. Ooh. And deal reach for stopping spike in milk prices. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, what happens is the United States government has been subsidizing milk since the uh, Depression, and the milk prices would be 7 bucks a gallon under Obama if they didn't. Uh, Subsidize it? I hate to tell you people, though, milk has went up a dollar a gallon under Obama. But the, uh, Flea Obama said, there's no inflation because you've lost so much money on your house. I know. I see. But they, they make to say, well, if you don't own a home, though, you do have inflation. Mm -hmm. If you own a home, you have no inflation. If you don't own a home, you have inflation, which means you've got inflation no matter what they say. Venezuela Chavez suffers new post-surgery surgery complications. Yeah, well, because he's not recovering. His cancer is spreading, folks. And I uh, hit a good one. His cancer is spreading. They know he's not going to serve. So they elected everybody. They elected him to a new term, knowing that you know that the elections are phony as heck in that country. You never elect a dictator that's dying. You just simply laugh at him. And Republican Senate leader urges Biden to break, break the impasse. Yeah, that was McConnell. Basically, they figure the Republican Senate basically turned traitor. Who, this is what. Who do you know, who is, do you think is going to be the Republican nominee for president in 2016? Mm -hmm. It's Mario Rubio who voted to not go along with this disaster, which basically solved nothing. You're still going over the fiscal cliff because you haven't cut spending. Mm -hmm. And the taxes rose. Okay, you know what the difference between going over the fiscal cliff and not going over the fiscal cliff was? What's that? Your taxes only went up 2% instead of 3 and Graham, no debt ceiling increase without entitlement reform. Uh, they, they, just, uh, they just basically last night, uh, they basically announced the Republicans are not even going to make a battle over entitlements now. They're going to give Obama everything he wants for two years because with 80 of the Republicans siding with the Democrats are not even going to show up. The Democrats control the House of Representatives now, and Obama will get it. We're going to get a free reign on everything for the next two years. And Obama endorses gay marriage proposal in Illinois. Yeah, well, that ain't going to happen because any place with an awful lot of Afro-Americans does not approve of gay marriage. Remember, California overwhelmingly dumped a measure uh, on Afro-American Afro and Latinos and Asians and Muslim both. They, they, over, they were the ones that basically said no. And gang rape victims' body cremated privately in India. I know. That probably, that's, that's how you know we're reading it. Rip and read. Oh well. <laughs> and South Korea to restart one of troubled two troubled reactors. Yeah, I mean, there's okay. Most of the reactors in the world have got problems because they're getting old, and governments aren't allowing anything new to be built. So what happens is when you get old, you start breaking down. And Venezuela's a Chavez in delicate condition after surgery. Vice? 
and he, he, you know, he, they, he had surgery after the surgery to correct the problems. And he, okay, like I said before, his cancer is spreading. It was pelvic cancer, and generally you cannot get rid of it because it basically destroys, you know, uh, your your bladder, your spleen, your kidneys, and your hips, and basically you, you just it's really a mean and vicious form of cancer. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That you always win re-election in your in your district by supporting the other candidates' policies. Nah. <laughs>